The salvation of your soul comes from the word of God coming on you continually. The Bible says receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. The word planted in your life, that's you hear it and do it. That's the implanted word. That's what saves your soul. I know all your life you've heard Jesus will save your soul. He will. But the saving of the soul takes time. The saving of your spirit comes by faith instantly. But the saving of your soul is a process. The Bible says that you should walk out your salvation with fear and trembling. That's not an instant thing. He said walk out. But we are saved by grace, not works. Ephesians 2. Is it not so? So which one are you walking out? Is the salvation of your soul and your body that you must work out. Salvation of your spirit is by faith in Jesus. Salvation of your soul is you sitting down and receiving meekly with humility the words of God planted into you. So that's how you know many people cannot and will not be saved. Does the Bible say he that endures to the end will be saved? Have you read that before? Which saved? I thought you are saved. Whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. With your mouth you confess, with your heart you believe unto salvation. Romans 10. All of this is true. It's not a contradiction. Spirit salvation comes from believing. Soul salvation comes from continuing to hear and obey the words of God. Then body salvation, that's resurrection of your flesh. If it's the first resurrection, it depends on what you did with your soul while you're still alive. First resurrection is what people call rapture. Attend the believers to assist. That is a salvation there. The Bible says they love the truth. What did Jesus say? And you will know the truth and the truth will save you. Who did Jesus say this to? To the people who believe. Believers. He told believers, if you continue in my word, then you will know the truth. If you look at that chart, you see the way, the truth, the life. Where you have the soul, you have the truth. Salvation of your spirit, you need the way. Jesus, call on his name. But salvation of your soul, you need the truth. And for salvation of your body, you need the life. There's a difference. But God would have to open your eyes. They are not mistakes. There's no reason God gave 333333 all over the Bible. He knew they were saying the same thing. You can look at that chart and tell how things work in the spirit realm between your spirit, your soul, and body. You can know. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion. What is the punishment for not loving the truth? For not walking on the salvation of your soul? What happens? Really again, they didn't hear. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion. What so happens when you, your soul does not undergo salvation? I am trying to show all of you that Christians are the ones that suffer from a strong delusion.